Uh, Garamaga, thank you, uh, uh, Kahirlik. And to the Leader of the House, I suppose you've heard from a number of our representatives here today just around the summer schools, uh, the, I suppose, special schools and the summer programme. The summer programme has roughly 40 million been allocated to it. And I did ask, and principals came to me, I suppose, with some feedback. And, you know, we are seeing that um, there are a number of schools that did roll this out last year. We're seeing about one in four schools. But we need to see more of our mainstream schools doing this as well, because we are looking to bring children uh, with special needs into our mainstream schools, and then for our special schools to handle children with more severe to complex challenging needs. So it needs to be really clear that for our special schools there are more challenging behaviours, and getting new teachers to come in to do the summer programme can be a challenging space. Um, I do know that for some of the special schools, they have looked to see perhaps about central vetting processes, you know, for SNAs. So in other words, that it's not about they themselves, the school, having to go to guard the stations and so on. Um, but also that there's panels maybe for teachers, particularly for special schools, because there is that additional training perhaps that's required as opposed to maybe special classes within mainstream schools. So just those are some things to take into consideration uh, potentially for the minister who might be coming in to speak with us. Just the two other areas just to mention is just for Loch Quinchin, of course, we know about all the families and people living around Rahara Bala, um, you know, around the around Loch Fuinchna. Again, the rising flood levels of the Turlock, and I know Senator Murphy here has raised this on a number of occasions. And I really want to welcome, yeah, I want to welcome the group actually that are arriving today into the Agricultural Committee, and together with public representatives, you know, Minister Patrick O'Donovan and OPW officials met with the Loch Fuinchna group back in July. Um, and you know, I know that further progress updates on sort of the the plans that we need to put in place. Um, will be taking place as well in October. This is a very difficult situation because environmental assessments are required. It has gone down the legal route and there is, you know, there was a high court uh, sort of actions here. So it is a very difficult situation. And then finally, just on Western Track, uh, just to follow up on Senator Burke as well, I did attend that meeting uh, in Tume and it is about how do we develop this region and about investment coming into the Galway and into the West, basically. Um, you know, Western Development Commission were there, NWRA, um, the, the Northwestern Regional Assembly, you know, Committee of the Regions. Um, we just need to be conscious that we can do both, you know, our regional cycleways and also develop our, our, our train tracks and bring investment into the West and tourism. Thank you very much.